Chinese mines power nearly 80% of the global trade in cryptocurrencies despite a domestic trading ban since 2017. But in recent months, several provinces have ordered mines to close as Beijing turns a sharp eye to the industry. Authorities in the province of Sichuan ordered the closure of 26 mines last week, according to a notice widely circulated on Chinese social media and confirmed by a former Bitcoin miner. According to the Global Times, China's central bank held talks with a number of Chinese banks and payment institutions about cryptocurrency trading speculation, asking them to screen the capital accounts of cryptocurrency exchanges and over-the-counter dealers and cut relevant payment links. In a statement, the People's Bank of China reiterated that no banks or banking institutions are allowed to provide products or services like registration, transactions, or accounts for individuals who engage in cryptocurrency trading. This has all been a nightmare for investors around the world. The price of Bitcoin sank to as low as $32,000. The unit has taken a severe hit in recent weeks, having hit a record near $65,000 in April, partly because of Beijing's crackdown. The notice reportedly instructed power companies to stop supplying electricity to all cryptocurrency mines by Sunday. It vowed a complete cleanup and ordered local governments to carry out a dragnet-style investigation to find and shut down suspected crypto mines. The province represents one of the largest bases for mining in the country. A former cryptocurrency miner said they had closed everything in line with the requirements in recent days. There have been working groups coming to check, making sure we shut down operations and remove the machines, he said. Sichuan, a mountainous region in southwest China, is home to a large number of cryptocurrency mines, which require a colossal amount of energy supplied by the province's cheap and abundant hydropower. According to a report in the state tabloid, the Global Times, the closure of mines in the province has resulted in the shutting down of more than 90% of the country's Bitcoin mining capacity. On Monday, June 21st, China's central bank added that it recently summoned banks and payment institutions, including the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China, Agricultural Bank of China and Alipay Internet Technology over providing services for virtual currency transactions and speculation. The People's Bank of China said virtual currency transaction activities disrupt the normal economic and financial order and breed risks of illegal cross-border asset transfers, adding that institutions must cut off links facilitating them. Although environmental concerns about the gas-guzzling mines is also a factor. Sichuan is China's second most intensive mining region after Xinjiang in the country's northwest, according to Cambridge University's Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index. All crypto mines in the sparsely populated but coal and hydropower-rich regions of Inner Mongolia and Qinghai were also ordered to shut down in recent months, with citizens encouraged to report illegal mines. Twitter was abuzz with memes and jokes after the cryptocurrency market saw a dramatic fall over regulations and cryptocurrency dealings in China. Netizens and investors flock to Twitter expressing frustration and hope that all is not over yet. The co-creator of Dogecoin says he's invested in the meme-inspired cryptocurrency for the first time in eight years, despite a massive market-wide price crash. Billy Marcus developed Dogecoin alongside fellow software engineer Jackson Palmer back in 2013, originally as a tongue-in-cheek joke aimed at Bitcoin and the emerging crypto market. Both men sold their original holdings not long after creating it and have since stepped back from the development side. While Mr. Palmer has largely withdrawn from the public eye, Mr. Marcus remains an active voice within the Dogecoin community. I bought Dogecoin after eight years of vowing never to buy crypto again an hour ago, he tweeted on Tuesday. I've checked the price seven times so far since then. I was up 10% and now it's back to up 3%. The announcement came shortly after a major price drop that saw Dogecoin fall by more than 10 cents in less than 24 hours. As recently as last month, Dogecoin was worth more than 70 cents, peaking on the day that Elon Musk made several references to the cryptocurrency during his time as host of SNL. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO has been one of the most prominent advocates of Dogecoin, claiming that it could become the currency of the internet, and even suggesting it could one day be used on Mars. The tech billionaire previously hinted that more work needs to be done to further develop Dogecoin in order to make it suitable as a mainstream form of currency. Dogecoin price predictions following this latest tumble have put hopes of the coin finally reaching a dollar worth or above anytime soon, slightly further out of reach. The closest the cryptocurrency has come to nearing that landmark threshold was seen in early May, before China's latest moves to stunt the flow of transactions and mining began to shake the market. Bitcoin fell below $30,000 on Tuesday to a 24-hour low of $28,814, putting it at the lowest value since the year began. Several big players in the market are keen to make the most of falling profits, despite concerns around increased volatility, with MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor buying over 100,000 bitcoins valued at over $3 billion. 
Sailor's actions mirror many of those hoping to help Bitcoin and smaller coins it's taken down with it to bounce back against plummeting profits. Glauber Contasoto says that he invested over $250,000 in Dogecoin on February 5th with a belief that he'd become a millionaire, and on April 15th, he did. But on Monday, June 21st, the top cryptocurrencies by market value, including Bitcoin, Ether, and Dogecoin, started to crash, following the news of the crackdown in China. With losses extending on Tuesday, Contasoto's portfolio, which contains only Dogecoin, was hit. His holdings are down over $167,000 on Tuesday alone, and his portfolio was worth $831,000 as of Tuesday, June 22nd. Up until yesterday, Monday, I'd been a millionaire, Contasoto says. If Bitcoin and Ethereum weren't also hit, I'd be worried. Four months ago, when he bought in, Dogecoin was priced at about 4.5 cents. On May 8th, it hit an all-time high of about 73 cents, and the value of Contasoto's holdings surpassed $2 million. After its surge, Dogecoin's price continued to fluctuate, but Contasoto remained confident in holding for the long term. He even bought more Dogecoin during the dips. Even now, he refuses to sell. This volatility, however, is in part why experts warn that cryptocurrency is a risky, speculative investment. Some warn to be especially cautious when investing in Dogecoin since it lacks the scarcity and technological development that Bitcoin has. Still, Contasoto remains bullish on Dogecoin, even though he isn't currently a Dogecoin millionaire on paper. When I went into this Dogecoin investment, I planned on being in it for at least a year, he says. I put in my life savings because I knew I would eventually become a millionaire. Now, he plans to hold the currency for much longer than a year. Whatever happens in the short term doesn't matter to me because I'm looking to hodl Dogecoin for years to come. I'm truly not worried at the end of the day. Contasoto is sticking to his original plan. He'll sell 10% of his Dogecoin holdings once his portfolio reaches a $10 million value. But we'll leave the rest invested, he says. People get caught up in the short term and don't have the patience to see the investment all the way through, he says of his decision to hold. While Contasoto isn't worried, experts recommend exercising caution with Dogecoin and warn to only invest what you can afford to lose. But for Contasoto, volatility comes with the territory, and if you can't stomach the fluctuations, then maybe you're not cut out for crypto.